Prime Minister Rutte, Kochar Ban Ki-moon, Minister Ulster and Minister Kamal, thank you for this important gathering. Although the COVID pandemic has preoccupied us over the past year, the climate crisis has not gone away. Climate change remains the challenge of our time and it's the global poor who suffered its consequences most. That is why the World Bank Group continues to step up its financing, set new and more ambitious targets while transforming the way we think about climate. We are the biggest multilateral funder of climate investments in developing countries. We're going further with a new target for 35% of our finance to have climate co-benefits on average over the next five years. This means that more than a third of our finance will contribute to climate change mitigation and or adaptation. It also means we'll look at every project to find ways to bring in climate action. For example, in Malawi, we are supporting the government to restore landscapes, improve water security and agriculture productivity. This directly benefits 350,000 people, the majority of whom are smallholder farmers Close to 70% of the project funding will have climate benefits. Our projects also gave 120 million people in over 50 uh, countries access to early warning systems and weather data crucial to saving lives against natural disasters. We are now committed to 50% of our climate financing going to adaptation and resilience. What does this translate into? Real action in developing countries to build more resilient infrastructure and protect people. For example, we're helping six West African countries protect against coastal erosion by restoring wetlands and mangroves, replenishing beaches and building seawalls and dikes. Still, the challenge is not just about finance. We also need to help make the investment of governments and private actors stronger. And on a system-wide scale, we're supporting ministries of finance to weave climate action into their policies, planning and budgeting. I'm often told I'm being too ambitious about climate at the bank, but there is no challenge more deserving of high ambition than climate change. We have to have big plans and goals as the leading multilateral development bank in the world. Countries are depending on us as they start to build back from the COVID crisis in a sustainable, resilient and inclusive way. We are doing this together with you, our partners. Thank you.